Let's graph the linear equation y equals 3x plus 4. And we're going to do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x, find the corresponding values for y, then we can graph those points. Next, we'll take a look at the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, and check our work. So I like to put a 0 in for x starting out, because that's going to show up on my graph. 3 times 0, that's 0, so we have y is 4. If we put a 1 in for x, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, and let's put negative 1 in. So 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3, plus 4 gives us 1. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 3x plus 4. So we go 0, 4. So we find 0 on the x-axis and y is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's our first point. Then we have 1, 7. So we go 1 and up to 7 right there. And finally we have negative 1. So we go negative 1 and up 1 right here. And you can see we have this line here. We can just put a line through it. And we can put arrows to show it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for y equals 3x plus 4. Now let's use slope-intercept formula to check our work. So y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept, so here's the y-axis. So that's where the line should go through the y-axis. And b is 4. So let's find 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. That's our y-intercept. For the slope, m, we have 3 here. But let's think of it as 3 over 1. It's still 3, it's just now we have this fraction, we can write rise over run. So we'll go up 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, rise over run. Go to the y-intercept, 1, 2, 3, over 1. And I'm out of space now, so let's go the opposite direction. We'll go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1 in the opposite direction. And we can just keep doing this, down 1, 2, 3, over 1, down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. You can see all of these points are on our graph. So this is the graph for y equals 3x plus 4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.